Hello, this is Dr. Stuart Tepper, Professor of Neurology at the Geisel School of Medicine and Director of the Dartmouth Headache Clinic. Calcitonin gene-related peptide, or CGRP, is a peptide that's really found in every organ system, including the cerebral circulation. It comes in isoforms, the alpha, which is primarily in the nervous system and usually in the peripheral nervous system, and the beta, which is in the enteric nervous system. CGRP is the most potent endogenous vasodilator, although there are other vasodilators, uh, such as nitric oxide. CGRP release results in not only vasodilation, but the initiation of neurogenic inflammation. The idea that CGRP might be at the top of the pyramid involved in migraine pathogenesis has led to the development of antagonists or small molecules or GPANTs to block CGRP and monoclonal antibodies or large molecules to take out CGRP or its receptor in prevention. The antagonists or GPANTs were developed initially for the acute treatment of episodic migraine. At least seven GPANTs have been found to be effective in acute treatment of migraine. Although all have developed efficacy, many have been abandoned due to liver toxicity. The first GPANT to demonstrate effectiveness in acute treatment of migraine was Olsegapant, which was intravenous, and because of difficulty in developing an oral formulation, was not further developed. Telcagipant was an oral formulation of GPANT with a slow onset, long duration of action, good tolerability. It stopped migraine effectively and consistently and turned out to be hepatotoxic and was therefore abandoned. The next in line in that particular series of GPANTs was MK3207, which was more potent than telcagipant and still liver toxic. Numerous other GPANTs have been described as effective in phase two trials. None of them has progressed until recently to phase three trials. Ubrogapant, which was effective in a phase two trial in the acute treatment of migraine, has progressed to a phase three trial in 2016. Atojapant is a GPANT that is planned to be used on a daily basis in prevention of episodic migraine. Monoclonal antibodies have a long duration of action and were developed for the prophylaxis of frequent episodic or chronic migraine. They're not available orally due to large molecular size, and for the same reason, they don't cross the blood-brain barrier. Four monoclonal antibodies are in development for the prevention of migraine. All of them, in one form or another, target CGRP. ALD403, fremonezumab, and galconezumab are monoclonal antibodies that target the CGRP peptide or ligand. Arenumab targets the CGRP receptor itself. All four of these monoclonal antibodies have been tested in phase two, and efficacy and safety results appear promising. The idea that one can target CGRP at the top of the pyramid, take it out, and either treat migraine acutely or preventively is very attractive, and the tolerability of both the GPANTs and the monoclonal antibodies looks very good. There's a potential role for these CGRP active medications in addressing unmet needs, and these include inadequate response to triptans or other acute medications, unacceptable adverse events with triptans, avoidance of vasoconstrictive effects with triptans, and the adverse events associated with conventional migraine prevention.